Good morning from Colorado Custom Coachworks. What is that right there? Hang on, phone's ringing. Ah, just got off the phone with uh, Classy Cassie. I know I haven't included too much uh, uh, family and, and things like that, mostly because I've been traveling. Um, but uh, uh, she is the uh, uh, widow of Uncle Dan, Dan the Adventure Bus. And uh, we are, are just as close as, as you know, blood-related family, you could say. So I had a very good uh, chat with her. And she told me something that her friend uh, mentioned her, which was a family of one. Um, and uh, I just really like that saying. You know, you take care of yourself, you love yourself, provide for yourself. And then from that point forward, then you can include more members of your family and grow and things like that. So I, I just like that. I just like that saying. That's a nice start to this video. All right, uh, this is a hole saw, and that is a wall. The two of these things are, you know, gonna get jiggy with it in a second. Voila! After. All right. So that's where the uh, 30 amp service is gonna go. Uh, that just means like hookups for all the more RV familiar people. The only reason I'm doing this is because I have the capability to do it. Um, because of the inverter that I have from Victron Energy. Uh, you guys will see that in a future video. Um, I have one of the better inverters on the market, uh, courtesy of Victron. They make very high quality stuff. Um, and so one of my ideas for next summer is to potentially uh, park this in Airbnb it somewhere, uh, collect a little money, and then uh, travel on that money. So in the event that I park, I don't have to worry about my um, batteries or uh, anything like that because everything will be shore power or you know hooked into uh, the ground or the electrical service. All right, you guys ready to see something a little bit on the ridiculous side? So I ordered something on Amazon. Um, just a, like a small drill bit um, set. Um, or actually, just an impact set. And I got this very large box, and I, I don't know if I ordered more stuff. I just thought to myself, this is a ridiculous amount of packaging. Look at that. There's nothing in there. Watch. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? They put this in a massive box. It's, you could fit a pair of shoes in here, just, just as a reference. Okay, so we have a nice hole, uh, which was a perfect hole saw hole, kind of like one of these, but um, I use this carbide uh, bit here to uh, uh, open it up a little bit. It's a pretty awesome tool. It sounds like the dentist. Let me just explain what this is to the non-RV people like myself, actually, because I am definitely not an RV person. This is a 30 amp, uh, what they call a hookup. This is like a marine version. So, I don't know, that part slides in. This is where the wire goes. And then, hopefully I don't drop it on the floor and break it. Uh, and this is what AM Solar uh, provided me. Um, so there is the uh, funny hookups for a, a 30 amp, uh, 125 volt. Um, so, it is still the year 2018, and I feel like not too many people use my discount code at AM Solar. Uh, I think it's .com or AM Solar Oregon. I forget. But either way, it's Jax Five or Jax Ten and or no spaces or anything, right? So use both of those promo codes, <laughs> and you can get five to ten percent off. I think almost everything. Um, it's looking like a good hole. Uh, also, November plans, I think I mentioned it in a previous video, but since I've been batch editing, <clears throat> I kind of forget what I've said. The entire month of November, I will be out at Jamie's uh, van build party, Enigmatic Nomadics uh, channel on YouTube. I know a lot of you guys came from his channel before. It looks like I will be doing some of the filming for his channel. Uh, I'm better with a camera than a hammer. Um, so <laughs> instead of trying to do things that I'm not as good at as I am editing. It looks like I'll, I'll be doing a lot of videos for him. Um, so that'll be a, a, a great uh, a thing to do for Jamie. I know he's got lots of people this year coming and 
uh, volunteering and if you aren't familiar with um, what it is, it's basically, <laughs> it's on BLM land, a bunch of people show up to volunteer to install things just like some of these things, right? Um, for people who, uh, you know, just need a hand or need the help or maybe don't know how to do it or uh, perhaps they're low income or um, reduced income, but you don't have to be, you know, in one of those um, categories. You know, you can just come on and hang out and, you know, bring some stuff, work on stuff, um, have someone else work on it for you. If you're not too familiar with tools, maybe you're f familiar with something else, you can volunteer as well. So um, by the time this video goes up, it should be about two weeks before the van build party. So hope to see you guys there. And if you want to come for a weekend or something, I'll be there, I think, the whole entire time. Uh, so just come on, hang out. Um, you know, I know my buddy Dell's going to, he's thinking of coming out with uh, an ice cream fridge. So if you want some free ice cream, come find us. Continuing on, we, we're gonna play with our wood today. Um, this is a bark pocket hickory, like I mentioned in a previous video. Uh, as you can see, there are some pieces that are a little wavy. Um, 30 cents, they planed three sides, or joined it, I forget the actual correct phrase, but we're gonna clean these all up today. And uh, we're gonna place them in a certain uh, kind of order. And then that's what, how we're gonna uh, determine the uh, the countertops, and of course we're gonna have to glue them together and all that fun stuff. do his work uh, <laughs> so it seems like it's a kind of a one-man job I'm gonna play with the uh, the top cap over here and cut a new one because I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier but I'm adding uh, about an inch or so uh, to hide the uh, the other piece of plywood that we put down because otherwise you would see the grain like that so now we're gonna hide the grain from uh, from eye level and just make it just you know a little bit nicer all right this one was my uh, template I cut in a little notch here. I got another one over there. You're gonna have to paint that, all that fun stuff. Also, I scored 15 gallons of free oil again from a local Chinese place. So ordering from them several nights a week has definitely paid off. <laughs> I've gotten like 45 gallons so far. Um, Eric is still working away on these things and um, I, I really like this stuff. Yeah, I think it's awesome. It looks like, uh, a like grandpa's coffee table kind of right here, you know? <laughs> or maybe the, the most interesting grandpa in the world's coffee table, but <laughs> all these just uh, different colors and variations is going to be fun to play with with that uh, stain. Yep. Right, do you want to explain what we're doing right now? So yeah, we're going through each of the boards now. We've, we've, we've cut them all to kind of maximize their width. Um, and now we're going to go through and pick out the best face on each one. Um, and then we'll start kind of putting them next to each other in different orders and sequences to see if uh, kind of come up with a really cool looking design for our tops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, a lot of these I, I, I chose that had a lot of the contrast in it for you guys watching. Um, instead of going, flip that over, yeah, instead like, of going with ones that yeah, were primarily well, white or uh, primarily uh, kind of a brown, I got ones that kind of mixed and matched in a really cool way. I think... Uh, Wow, that's a really cool knot right there, but I think, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? What's, <laughs> what side? I mean, by the time this video is out, I'm going to uh, choose. Right, well, that's really interesting. It is. That's really but the other, si the other side is so, well, not even symmetrical, but so just kind of um, consistent throughout. Whereas this side, it really just has some really interesting colors on it yeah, and knots. Works. Interesting. I don't know. What do you guys think? Share your thoughts with me. This is what the 
arrangement of the wood is gonna look like. This is gonna be the driver's side. The driver's side is a little bit longer of a countertop space. Um, and like I said, uh, this is all gonna be stained, so it's gonna look slightly different. This part right here is going to be uh, a, uh, a table, kind of like what Mike has. He has a hidden table under the, uh, the bench seat. So uh, we're kind of, instead of grabbing the most dramatic pieces, we're kind of grabbing a more uh, homogenous brown, um, which actually might look a little bit different from the uh, countertops. We've got Eric with one more piece here. So, yeah. Look at how cool this is all coming together here.